Here we go, Jim. Uh, what we're trying to demonstrate is this four-foot uh, furniture-grade uh, PVC pipe and its rigidity. It's an eighth of an inch uh, pipe wall, and I don't know whether you can see that now, but Jim's trying to flex it. It has a little bit of flex to it. Okay, now we're going to put it together with a, um, a female connector, that white connector in the center, to be an eight foot. Now the widest spa we're going to service with our unit is eight feet. So, uh, and we can only ship uh, a length of pipe by UPS that's five feet. So we're shipping two four foot lengths with this uh, female connector in the middle. Now, so obviously what we need is rigidity there. And that may be a function of how we design the connector and also uh, if we increase the wall of the pipe. Maybe, Jim, if you put one end of that pipe on the ground and just try to bend it so, so we can sort of see, um, see how uh, flexible it is. Yeah. It's not bad. It's close. I would say it's 80% of the way towards the rigidity that we need. So the question is how much more expensive it is to produce possibly custom furniture grade pipe like this that instead of uh, an eighth has maybe three sixteenth of a wall, either i.e. 50% more, and what that will do to the rigidity. So uh, ideally I'd like to find a manufacturer that either is doing that or can produce just a sample of a thicker walled pipe so we can test the rigidity. Okay, that's it. And obviously this is the pipe that goes across the top of the spa that supports the spa cover. And those covers, uh, when they absorb a bit of water, can be, uh, you know, 50, 60 pounds. So hence we need the strength and the rigidity. Okay, thanks, Jim. Bye.